All right, so um, here's going to be a dinghy cover course. What we're going to do is, is this is going to be all one piece, and we're going to bring the fabric down to the bottom of this strake here, and then we're going to have a uh, drawstring pocket that goes underneath with a bungee cord in it, and that's per the customer's request. I'm not a big fan of the bungee cords, but that's exactly what he wanted, so we're going to do that. And that bungee cord pocket's going to be about four inches below here. So this boat is actually going on uh, the swim platform, the transom of his boat, and uh, he's going to have to be able to access um, some ties that go pull up underneath to keep the thing on, and that's why he wants bungee cords. Just makes it easier to put on here. Um, with a side console like that, there aren't a lot of dinghies made like this, but this one has the side console. So there's going to be a big dart in here, and I'll show you how to do that. We're also going to have to conform this thing so that it's so that it, it shapes out round, but yet it still comes up underneath here, and it's not real hard to get on and off the boat. So <clears throat> let's walk around this way. Um, these are all going to be really big darts on here, which I'll show you how to do. It's pretty simple to do it, but um, on this, this center console is actually going to act like the teepee of the whole cover. So we're not going to need any poles or anything like that. It's going to be self-sustained. And then back here over this motor, um, we're going we're gonna to cover the motor, but the cover is only going to come to right here, which is right at the back of these pontoons. And the, I'm going to make the fabric come down around like this and the drawstring or the bungee cord is going to come around and we'll we'll crimp the bungee cords together so that it doesn't so it's all one piece and you're not tying this but what he'll have to do is he'll have to take that loose bungee and come around the lower unit and then drape the whole canvas over the boat so um, that's the intro for this all right so See that right there? That is what we call a hog ring. And the, if you're in upholstery, you'll know what they are. But so I just, we, it takes, took two of us to do this. We just pulled it tight and we have these things and we just took a couple of hog rings and hog ring those. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie a couple of knots on here. And then we'll just whack that off. Do the same thing on this side. All right. So that's going to stay right there and it's never going to come undone. Now what I want to do here is we're just going to rotate this and I'm going to hide that knot. Not real far, but, but I just hit it down inside there. So now all he, all he has to do is take this bungee and come around here. So if you come look, um, you got all your darts, and up here is where I was telling you about. You can already see, you can see how tight this already got, but it just makes it looser if you were to, if you put two smaller darts in there, start to type, instead of trying to put the one big one on. But even without straps, and this was his objective, is he can actually use this without using these straps at all. I, and he probably won't ever use these straps, but I put them on there so he, he has them. So he can never come back to me and say, you didn't put enough on, my cover blew off, and now you have to make me another one. So you know, he has the ability to tie it down. Um, you can see right here where we, where we made a mistake. Um, average guy won't really know that. Uh, here, a little disclaimer for you that make, do this all the time. I always tell people when I when I do stuff like that and then they question it, I say, you know what, fabric's only so wide. You know, they can't argue with that. So okay, so that's it. And then well you already saw this, but if you come back here, I mean look how nice that is. That's as a, that is that's as custom as you want to get it. Right there. And it's gonna be really easy for him to use. He's just gotta put that through the hole, put the cover on. Okay? So now all I'm gonna do is uh I'm not even going to use these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two straps that are right there in the center and I'm going to put the strap on it with the other buckle and it's just going to be enough to go to the other side and put another buckle and clip it on and I'm not going to do it here. I'm just going to give him enough webbing for it so he can adjust it once he gets it into his cradle on the boat. So that's it. That's uh, $1,250. Um, we had 
Let's see what we have. We had 10, 10, and 8, plus the drawstring pocket is uh, 30, so it's 10, 10 yards. 10 yards at, at what, 15 bucks a yard? So it costs us 150 bucks, plus some straps and some thread. So even if you say it was 170 bucks, it costs us 170 bucks. We made $1,200 and uh, half a day. did it half a day, a couple hours. That's some good money. So good luck. Keep on fabricating.